What's up, YouTube? This Rose Gold back again with another video. Now, check it out. What? I spent no expense on your ass, boy. Not mine. Give a f about no police. Do all my time. I do all my time. About mine. And uh, look, man. Go play with a who, who you can play with, man. One thing we ain't finna do. One thing we ain't finna do is pretend like we on the same motherfucking level. It's one thing we ain't finna do. So I ain't, man, listen, bro. Just keep. If you got something to say to me, talk to me. Don't talk to no child. Then you put yourself on a child's level. Like my... I don't have no gang. I ain't in no gang. I got family. I got mother who willing to risk their lives and freedom to about me and mine. You hear me? Why don't play with me, man? Don't play with my mother child ever. My nigga, I ain't even on no sucker shit, man. I don't play with you mother suckers, man. I don't play with you suckers at all. I don't play with you suckers. And I appreciate not being played with by you suckers, man. I don't know why a nigga, man, grown ass man, feel like he got something to say about King. Man, don't play with me, bro. Don't play with mine, bro. Don't play with mine. Just don't play with mine. I ain't finna say no name, because I don't play police games. If I go to jail, it's gonna be for something. It's gonna be for something. I don't play no police game, man. I don't play no police game. I don't play no internet game. I don't do none of that shit, bro. Yeah, no, as you move around, man. Man, life is real, bro. This shit ain't no mother joke. This shit ain't no mother game. Yeah, don't play with me. Don't play with mine. Okay, so T.I. had much more to say. And as we all know, this is a response to Charleston White. Now, first of all, I want to say it worked. Charleston White is like this. Rubbing his hands like Birdman right about now. Because <laughs> it... it <laughs> the trap worked. Now look, people. Second of all, if I was T.I., I would not have came publicly with a response. I would have met up with Charles and said, hey, man, what's the problem? I would have did it that way. Now he's on here saying, I'm not going to say no names and stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not, T.I.? We all know who the hell you talking about, so why not say the man's name? It, that's neither here or there, though. That's not a big deal. That's petty. Who cares if he says his name or not? We know who he's talking to. Exactly. So, people, what y'all think about this? Like I said yesterday, I didn't think T.I. was going to respond. Not publicly, anyway. But he did. That's kind of shocking to me that he came out publicly and said something to Charleston White. Now, like I said, Charleston White at home rubbing his hand like Birdman. Because he know he's one step to getting somebody ass locked up. <laughs> now... T.I. is up here talking about, you know, his son and stuff like that. But I get it. Protect your children. Stand up for your children. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I, after this stuff, I wonder if T.I. is talking to King saying, man, yeah. Even though, you know, I'm going to take up for you because you my son. Da, da, this and that. I ain't going to let nothing happen to you. But you are moving a little, a little funny. You know what I'm saying? We don't need you. Well, you don't need the attention. Of what Charleston White is trying to make you look like. I would explain to him that I this and that, right? Stay out of social media. I know you young. I know you want to have fun. And this is the era of every, telling all your business shit on, online and shit. This and that and this and that. But hey, what's up? Move a little better, man. And don't go back and forth with this dude. You know what I'm saying? But like T.I. says, I, I, I go to jail for mine. And that's probably what you'll be doing. But who wants to have to go to jail and shit like that and go murk somebody allegedly and shit like this over your son? Alright, so peep gang. In that video of Tootie Raw when he was talking uh, his response on Charleston White, he was in a vehicle, as we all seen, if you've seen the video. Now, somebody gets in the car in the vehicle and he says 
something about some gas. And we all know what gas is. It's some damn trees. Messy. Get to this, right? So he said, hey, he said, ask something about some gas. Either do you got some more gas, stuff like that. Somebody in the back seat said, do you want the rest of this wood? You see what I'm saying? Like, all of this is being, this is my point. All of this shit is being said while you're on live. While Tootie Raw's on live. And the, whoever was in the back seat sound like they was young as hell. Younger than Tootie Raw. Back there smoking a wood, bro. A back. <laughs> See? You gotta be smarter. If you, look, whatever you do, if you gonna do it, do it right. It don't matter what it is. At least do it right. Now, if I'm going to make a dog on me response and I'm going to be on social media, I'm going to be excluded from other people and out the way and let you know. But at the same time, I'm going to meet up with your ass. What's up? Why you got a problem with me? Or, look, it's a C. It's an option C. Just don't say shit at all. Because check it out. Whatever Charleston White doing, if they would have never responded, just like Boosie, Auntie, and Uncle told him, to not say nothing on trust one. If they would have never responded, it wouldn't even have got to this point. To T.I. And in that same video, T.I. response to Charleston White. T.I. said he wouldn't even have known about this if Tiny wouldn't have what? Hit him up talking about what is this? It got everywhere. And this also is getting everywhere. But T.I. think he's so damn smart. That was a mistake, T.I. For even responding to the man on public. I wouldn't have did that. I would have did it behind closed doors. I wouldn't have did that. You see what I'm saying? And yes, I would have took up for my child because that's my child. But at the same time, you know what I mean? But everybody ain't going to think like that. You can still stay in your ground. It doesn't have to be in the public eye. Like what, like what Will Smith did when up there and smacked the shit out of Chris Rock. Message get to this. Message. Smack the shit out of his ass. Now, people... It worked, all right? Now, what I've been saying, this is all a trap, and it worked. Now, let's not forget that T.I. and Tiny was in the news not too long ago about these discrepancies about these women. Let's not forget that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and, and that young girl was to the detail, to the T, of what was going on. Yeah, that nasty stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, people... Look, ain't nobody safe messing with Charleston White. And I know T.I., you know, he got some rank and stuff in Atlanta and this and that. I know, I get it, man. I get it. But at the same time, you messing with the police. Now, you have just spoken. Now, that's giving, now that's giving what? Charleston White, another reason to act a damn ass and wish you would. And this is another thing. People keep saying in my comments, like, shit. Charleston White think he's invisible. He better watch out before he be in jail or he be, you know, even something worse. Of. Let me explain something to you about this type of person, Charleston White. He is willing to die for this shit. Just like them, them y'all sons and shit out here acting crazy, they ready to die for this shit. So is Charleston White. But, but listen, they have two different reasons why. Charleston White has a reason why, and them young bucks out there got a reason why. Which one you think makes sense? That's up to you. Everybody got their own damn brain, right? Yeah. So, Charleston White, people, he will die for this shit. He will die for the cause that he believes in. All right? And that's to get you suckers and jokers off the streets. Because there's too many real people that have been gunned down to gun violence. From the industry to the regular streets in our everyday lives. And we always stuck here with you full-blown demons. We tired of that shit. Always taking out the decent people. Hmm? Oh, yeah. So, T.I.S. out here done responded, people. What y'all think about that? I know what I feel about that. Like I said, I believe he just fell into the trap. Will Boosie be next? Boosie gonna come out and say something? See, this gonna make Boosie feel like, well, shit, I'm finna say something too, because, yeah, let's do it. Go ahead. Do your thing. 
Now I see where your sons get it from. Yeah, ass. You see? And, 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 and you're all on social media just like your sons doing this. What T.I. say? See, you could feel like, you know, the right people this gets a hold to, they could feel like this is a threat. Because what was T.I. saying? He said two things that were sort of like alleged threat. Man, this real life. This ain't no game. You know, talking about when Charleston White is do 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 in the street. Huh? <laughs> Go back and look at it. And then he's saying some shit about he, he got family. He ain't in no game. He got family that, that are willing to risk their life for him and his. Hmm. Now who the hell would do that? Those are alleged threats, people. Whether you think of it as a, not a threat or not, he was just talking, whatever. That's exactly why I wouldn't have did this shit on, on, in the public. Because once you upload this shit and it's, and it's real like that, you know, you done went live and everybody done seen it, everybody in their damn mama message get to this. It's hard to back out that shit, man. Charleston White can instantly think, oh, this is a threat. Why do you think, listen, this is my last thing I'm going to say, man. Why do you think Charleston White gets away with what he's saying? He wants you to threaten him. They so damn stupid. He wants you to threaten him. Because what he, and because what T.I., okay, in that video, because I didn't play the whole video, but T.I. was like, all you going to do is call 911. Now these people know Charleston White be working with them people. Why go back and forth? This makes you and your sons look stupid for coming out talking back, going back and forth with a person that will tell you he gonna get you in trouble. He can't wait till you get in trouble. We cannot be this damn dumb, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But shout out to T.I. He took up for his son. That's all I can say. He took up for his son. But he went about it the wrong way. And still I ask, is he going to take responsibility for his son? Not for what he said to Charleston White and shit, but for his actions before this happened. That has nothing to do with Charleston White. You see what I'm saying? The way he's been moving in the street, thinking he's invincible, thinking, oh, T.I., my daddy, ain't nobody going to do nothing to me. Oh, I rode with Boosie, son. Ain't nobody going to happen to us. And everybody know what my daddy about, so you see what I'm saying? But see, that's when you want to start saying, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy. When you get faced with that fire. You see what I'm saying? When you get faced with the fire. But before that, you is, oh, I'm my own man, da da this and that. But let something jump off. Who you going to run to? Your damn daddy. So explain that to me. You grown or are you a child? Huh? Anyway, people, that's the response. And like I said, leave, you know, y'all can leave what y'all want to leave in the comments. Um, I just feel like he should not have said anything public-wise. I'm not saying he shouldn't have said nothing. I just wouldn't have said it to the public. All right? Message.